What's up, YouTube? Hey, uh, I wanted to make a little bit of video about uh, changing your box tuning with Aeroports. Uh, yeah, I look a little bit disheveled. I haven't made a video in a while because uh, I had like a major surgery and I kind of just been like sitting back and not doing much of anything, just like healing. But I'm going to be all right and uh, things are good to go, you know? Uh, but anyway, uh, I changed the box tuning of the EXL XXB. It's in an Aeroport box, and um, I just bought another uh, precision port. They're like 20 bucks, you know, and uh, you can cut them, glue them, or whatever. And um, anyway, this is the Aeroport. It's uh, precision ports, you know. You get them on um, you get them on Parts Express, and uh, you can cut them and glue them. Well, let me show you. This is uh, my car audio mess in here. Got a whole bunch of crap sitting around here. But anyway, <clears throat> these are the ports. And uh, you know, they're a little bit thin, but this is the one for the X12 that was in there before. And uh, you know, this is like, you know, everybody thinks it's sturdy, but well, it might be with the EXL because it's a smaller subwoofer, but with the X12, it's about 32. Um, this could be a little bit shorter, really. Uh, but anyway, I got another one, and I cut it, and it's real short with the EXL. And I got it tuned I, somewhere, I think it's like uh, 37 hertz, maybe 38 hertz, which makes the EXL uh, perform a hell of a lot better. So uh, let's do a frequency sweep. Now, you know, I got my crossover set, so when it gets to the low frequencies, it's not going to go ham, you know. But, anyway, let's uh, do the sweep. See, when you set your crossovers right, your speaker's not going to go ham when it gets down to the stupid low frequencies. Like right now, it's at 17, and that speaker's barely moving. But my crossover is set, I think, at like 28, somewhere around there. But anyway, this thing goes ham when you play music on it, though. Um... Let me find something to play for you guys. Uh, we'll play some of that Blind Fury. Can you be Get the hell out of here. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. This thing is gonna be on. Is, man. Right. Right. Now this is talking about 40 hertz. Fury, you was on 106, man. Right. Yeah. yeah, what happened to you, man? Uh -huh. What happened? You fell off, man. Yeah. Why your teammate got you out there, man? 40 hertz Why tuning, man. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think it's 38. Too, it's somewhere between 37 and 40. But this is where the speaker goes, though.
too And it's another couple of them, but I never see them So I couldn't tell you what they all do They be trying to get all of this bread Got them fucked up and all misled They probably would have been doing better for them If they would have ran up on them and shot them dead And that's kind of sad Cause after that TV spot You would have thought by now The little motherfucker would have at least had a CD drive If I was his manager He'd sell out all his shows Be fucking all of them Be hitting I think I hear the motherfucker coming. Oh, coming. They be claiming they my homies. They be claiming they my homies. They be claiming they my homies. When they ain't got nothing for me. They be claiming they my homies. They be claiming they my homies. They be claiming they my homies. When it's time to get that money, they be, they be, they be, they be, they be all up in my face. They be, they be, they be, they be, they be all up in my space. Yeah, so that's uh, that's uh, when it's tuned higher, you know, it like it hits harder. Uh, you know, I like both. Everybody says that uh, you know, 32, 28, whatever, you know, as long as it ain't like 45, 50. You know, and the SPL, you know, SPL uh, setups, you know, they, they tune it pretty high, like, and it's not comfortable. It doesn't sound good. This, you know, 30, between 37 and 42, I'm not quite sure because I haven't, like, you know, put it on and tested it the real way because I've just been lazy, but uh, it's good for all music when you tune it. Personally, I think it's when you tune it around the FS of the speaker. And uh, like I said, well, this box is a little bit big for that speaker, so it might perform better in a smaller box. But when you uh, model this box in WinISD with this speaker, this is the port tuning for its peak performance. And, uh, you know, it could have more power. You know, it's Subaru, it's stock everything. You know, uh, stock all stock uh, battery. You know, it's just an Optima battery. But uh, you know, wait. my truck is just sitting here. I played it the other day. The damn X12s are hungry. Still waiting on lithium. Still haven't got it somewhere in China I guess I don't know I'm about ready to uh, just forget about that Titan 8 man and order a big fat lithium battery from uh, somebody else I'm thinking uh, there's a company called underground power that it's got some nice batteries for a pretty decent price man uh, I'm thinking about just scooping up a big ass one from them and saying screw that damn Titan 8 Whenever the damn thing shows up, man, maybe I'll just wire it to wire it into the damn Subaru, you know? I put the battery like, you know, right here somewhere. Or scoot the box for it a little bit and put the battery right here. You know? I could put that hooligan 2K. I mean I'll just put it on the box, you know, I don't give a shit. This is for, you know, the Subaru man. It's uh, you know, it's not a base car, man. You want to go fast, you know. This car's pretty quick too, man. These cars are good, good daily drivers. Good daily driving little race cars, man. But anyway, everybody have a good day and uh, hit that like and share, whatever you got to do. Uh, help me out, you know. Make the channel cool, you know. Uh, but that's it. And uh, 
Oh, look at me, man. I'm terrible at this shit. But anyway, have a good day, man.